Hi Capricorn, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing your general reading for September month. Let us see the messages for you. Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign in Capricorn plus Ross Watchers. And this is a general message. Take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. For personal readings, white spells, supreme and charged crystals, you can reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram or email. All the details are given down below in the description box. And check out my Instagram for short reels for free of cost. And follow my Instagram at ionigma.in. Let's see Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Oh, wow, August. What's happening in your life in general? What are the things coming up in your life? <clears throat> one more, please. Okay, one card from Tarot and one card from Oracle. Okay, we have the two of uh, swords and we have the four of wands. One message from the love oracle. Okay, fear. Okay, Capricorn, let's see. You've started to focus on your goals and you have become action oriented a lot. And I'm seeing that you're taking an advice from someone that you trust the most and they're your best friend they could be a good friend of yours but i'm definitely seeing whatever you're embarking on whatever you're working on there is growth there there's spiritual growth there's monetary growth whatever decisions you're making your focus is the thing that's gonna take you towards ultimate outcome something big is going to happen in an august month and i feel an exciting event is taking place in the near future and I'm also seeing November. Maybe someone is born on August or November that's coming into your life because we got the Leo message. We got the Leo card and I feel someone is a Leo that you're going to deal with. And <clears throat> okay, August, November. There could be one option that is in August and another option coming in November or they're born in August and November separately. And I feel you're country you're like a little like confused and not able to decide between these two options <clears throat> someone from afar okay someone from afar is thinking about you all right and um, it's going to reach out to you. it could be a friend of yours but i feel like you're going to receive some good news a gift and I'm seeing luck is in your side. So if you're working on your goals, I'm definitely seeing a new opportunity at work, a new business opportunity, career growth. I'm seeing someone bringing you a gift. I'm seeing a reunion with an old friend. You are goal oriented these days. So there is growth. There's growth in money. There is growth in luck. But what you might be not seeing growth in is your love life right now, because somewhere I feel you have options, okay? And you want to be in a relationship. So you're fearful of like dating. You're fearful of trusting who this person is that I want to be with. There is a fear. You don't know like what is going to end up in the near future. <clears throat> I'm also seeing there's an energy of someone from a long distance interested in you. So you're not sure whether this person is uh, honest or they're just fake or they're the person of your dreams or not. So there is this fear here, whether to trust this person or not, but they're thinking about you. Someone at a long distance, that could be a friend of yours first, is started to come closer, but you have a fear. You don't know whether, should you, should you not? What's this fear about? Let me see. Yes. <clears throat> you're not sure whether you want to marry this person or not, or you're not sure whether this is going to end up into marriage. So someone that is, um i feel like it's giving you mixed signs okay and that's causing some anxiety okay and i'm also seeing you being more focused in your goals capricorn i'm seeing you doing really well at work i'm seeing you making your money i'm seeing you being action oriented goal oriented there is growth there's stability and prosperity coming into your life when i'm seeing expansion uh, but when it comes to your love life, you're afraid that this person might not give you a commitment because sometimes they give you mixed signs. <clears throat> okay. You also have a fear they might be cheating on you and there's someone else in the picture here. Seven of Wands. And the Two of Cups. But I feel like this is someone that is trying their best to convince you that they are into you. They like you, but you have this... 
uh, trust issue with this person they could be a Taurus that has interest in you they're tired of making you understand that they're interested i feel you're the one that is uh, very confused here skeptical here not sure whether this person should i make efforts some of you are just tired of making efforts and now you don't want to make efforts at all okay what is happening why are you fearful okay home truth storm warning and unexpected okay i get that Fated meeting, <clears throat> finances, you're not sure whether this person is financially stable or not, or they're talking, or they're, they will be able to build a family, a stable family with you, so you're not sure whether this person will be able to provide, maybe the finances part is causing you some trouble, Either you are, yes, I feel they ghosted you recently. It's because of their finances were not good. And they were like very stuck with their work. They had work related issues. They had to go through a lot. And then they came back and you're fearful of trusting this person. They're also trying to make you understand that there were financial issues. So you're not sure whether this person is honest or yes there is love there you can understand that they have feelings to you but you're not sure whether this is gonna be ending into something attraction is there but will this uh you know come to fruition will this turn into a commitment or not that is causing you some confusion <clears throat> Your feelings towards this person are changing. Your trust towards this person is changing. Okay. And I'm also seeing there's someone new coming into your life. So maybe your intuition is telling you to wait. Because someone new is definitely coming into your life. That's going to make you feel comfortable. You will feel home with. You will feel like you belong to them. You will feel uh, safe with this new person coming into your life. Okay. So I'm also seeing the confusion is because... You guys are not on the same page. They might like you, but they might not be ready to build a family with you for some reason. Someone that is coming into your life could be older than you and they're coming with a gift. Okay, This person is someone that is a family-oriented one. They want to settle down. They want to build a family. Some of you are not dealing with anyone at all, but there is a lot of fear around when will I get married? Who is the person I'll get married to? There's a lot of fear around that. I want to tell you how I feel. I couldn't let go, let you get close to me. I'm afraid to contact you. Yes, someone has been on and off in your life. Someone has been on and off in your life and you are feeling anxious of trusting this person again <clears throat> they are your friend but this person wants to tell you their feelings but they left you because of some financial issue this is what i see capricorn okay what else yeah you have trust issues this person has some codependencies they have financial issues so you don't want to trust this person anymore but this new person that's coming into your life is the one that you will be talking to you will be engaging with you'll be communicating with you'll have a strong um, attachment with this new person coming into your life who is this new person we see they are definitely very rich and successful this person is coming with a new beginning they are very positive happy they could be a lone wolf okay this person wants a new beginning they love to be alone that's the person that you're attracting this could be a, a leo i'm seeing that they will be ready for a commitment this person is a family person why this five of swords please <clears throat> Nine of Cups and the Five of Cups. I feel they're going to cheer you up. They will be cheering you up. You might be feeling...
heavy in your heart because of your past. You have tried a lot. You've made a lot of efforts in this time. When you're in this, uh, almost in this energy of giving up, you will see this person reaching out to you with hope giving you hope, giving you positivity. You'll see them, them making efforts towards you. This is not the person very, uh, a lot of people are happy with because they love their own energy and they do try to stay alone most of the times. They love their own space and they're too selective. With you, with the Queen of Cups, they will be falling in love. They will really like your energy. You're, you're pure. You're emotional. You're genuine. You're kind. So this person will be liking you a lot. This could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. They like your innocence. Alright. I'm seeing them coming with a gift. With the Ace of Pentacles. That is clarifying. This is someone completely new, could be a Gemini. You have to make the solid decision of letting go of the fears or confusions of the past. Because if you don't end this, you'll still carry that energy with you. I'm seeing a major transformation in your life taking place. The Four of Swords and the Ace of Wands, there is a new beginning. But before you have this new person come into your life, you need a lot of rest, mental rest. If you have taken that, I feel the time has come. Within four weeks, you'll see this new person coming into your life. It can even take up to November, right? We had the November and August. Between August and November, they're crucial months for you to meet someone new. With This person is very energetic. This person is very loving. And you guys will feel a soulmate bond with this new person coming into your life. And you will get over all those insecurities and fears of the past. You will have a changed a uh, mindset or a viewpoint about this person capricorn yes currently everything is happening according to your best outcome and you will see that it's time for you to blossom it's time for you to grow i'm also seeing you becoming more happier okay you're feeling more beautiful from inside. You're feeling more motivated. And you have this positive hope now that yes, something new, something exciting is going to come into my life in love. Once you let go of that person from the past, once you're done with this confusion in your head, I'm seeing a lot of growth. Okay, and then I can see hardest time leads to greater wisdom so the time have changed your karma has changed and if you've had a hard time in your past okay dealing with your relationships now you will bear the fruit okay of your hardship so the stagnancy is gone and now you will reap the seeds that you were that you have sown in the past you will see that growing into a beautiful blossoming future so i'm definitely seeing everything is happening in your favor you can meet your soulmate through social media as well someone is uh, into arts and entertainment someone is a, a videographer or youtuber or I am seeing this person is also someone that wears specs and they are hardworking. This could be someone mature. They have IOE in their name. I'm hearing honesty. I just heard that. Okay, this person could be a musician. I'm seeing a lot of people are watching you with jealousy. Mm. This person could have children from the past. For some of you, this could be a Pisces. Or this is someone that is your soulmate. Soulmate means like you have a very strong uh, feeling like you've met in the past life. Okay. But yes, you will be in a beautiful commitment. Okay. And this is going to get official in the near future. But keep your eyes open and be aware. This person is someone that's going to make you feel like home and very comfortable and easy to talk to. 
but someone has been watching you with jealousy it could be your past so you have this new opportunity coming into your life start from scratch what i'm seeing universe and angels are with you so you don't have to worry about a thing play some good music and relax this is what i see a i'm also seeing a i'm hearing oasis ghana england italy indiana india america australia these are certain countries now let me see who is this person envious of you yeah i'm seeing some fame whatever you're working on some sort of a fame and popularity is coming in which will make certain people jealous yes you're being watched by someone from long distance and there is jealousy there let's see from aries to pisces what does your person currently think and feel for you aries is ending this moving on okay the taurus person i feel like they've seen a lot of options they've been rejecting a lot of offers but they have chosen you as a person gemini knight of cups they're playing games with you they're trying to fool you emotionally and they're definitely juggling you with other options be careful if you're dealing with a gemini cancer this person is too obsessed with uh, themselves they're judgmental and they are not able to make a decision and they'll keep you hung up leo the leo is taking slow steps towards you they're definitely talking to other people they're not sure yet virgo they want to settle down okay they want to give into this connection this person is very rich and successful you're like their wish come true libra this person has a huge crush on you scorpio they're coming towards you okay and they're uh, definitely seeing a future with you the scorpio person sagittarius please mm. i feel if this is someone from the past they're regretting losing you or this person still living in the past if this is a new person capricorn they're definitely having fun right now they just love their freedom aquarius they want to make efforts and they also expect equally from you pisces this person sees you as a soulmate they want to settle down with you they want a long future i mean a long term future with you they're definitely seeing you as a potential mate here capricorn what sign this person could be let me see what is the most probable sign of this person that you will be with leo leo again cancer aquarius for some scorpio okay tell me about this new person coming into your life capricorn I feel they were a player in the past. This person has gone through a spiritual awakening. Life has taught them a lesson, and now they they are no longer manipulating others. And this is also someone that has their karma. Um, they have got their karma in the past, so now they want to change. Yes, you will see an unexpected text from this person over and over. They will be sending you messages, going crazy over you. Yes. This person is someone that used to hook up with people. I feel okay. Okay, I'm also getting one more energy. This is not the energy of the new person. This is the energy of the past person. They are trying to come back into your life. Okay, and you'll be surprised. You think that this person has realized and they want to be with you. I feel it's more like they want to hook up, and this person is a player, and yeah. You've just realized that this is not the person for you. Your new person that is coming towards you is 
purely spiritually awakened and is not this person okay so that's your message i hope you've enjoyed this wonderful read thank you for your time capricorn do like share subscribe and comment tells you back again bye